Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy here. This is video number three in my ScreenFlow series. And in this video, I'm just gonna share with you the secrets of editing. That's right. These are the keys that you need to know. You cannot use ScreenFlow without knowing these keys. I'm gonna share with you everything that I use every single time. After this video, and it's gonna be a short video, after this video, you are armed with the the biggest shortcut keys in ScreenFlow. So are you ready for this? I hope so. So we've already set everything up. You know how to configure recording. You know how to set your document to 1920 by 1080p. You can see here on the screen that we are too big. This is my recording just because I'm on a retina. So it recorded everything big. We talked about that in video number two. So now I need to scale this down. Over here, you're gonna find all your controls. And if you want a little shortcut to start everything off, command one, goes to video, command two, audio, command three, screen recording, command four, call out, command five, touch call out, command six, annotations, command seven, text, and command eight, that's right, the media library. Those are handy shortcuts, command one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna need to know all these shortcuts. It's gonna make everything so much easier and faster if you remember them. Command one is gonna get us back to video. That's where I can scale it. I just scale down. And we get our video close as we can. I want to bring this down. You say, I can't see that it's so far away. Well, I'm going to give you another shortcut. Hold command and hit the plus button. And that's going to zoom in on your canvas. Another handy trick. You can see here that I'm off a little bit. Let's scale up a little bit. I can also type this in. Say I want to type in 67%. That'll get me a little bit more. I want to just tab over using my, just tab a little bit. You can also use these controls over here if you want to change the sign. So I'm in there. I told you that the retina is a little bit bigger than the, and it's not the same aspect ratio as the 16.9. So we have to do that dance. We're gonna go up and down as needed, but for now I'm gonna keep the menu bar up there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the secrets. So we've already got these shortcuts. Command one, two, and three, four to zoom in and out of here. We do command plus, command minus. Okay, so that's pretty handy right there. What if we wanna zoom in down here in the timeline? Just hit the plus or hit the minus. You can see it makes things big, makes things small. How about over here? Say you're having trouble seeing these. See how small those are? You can barely see that. Click those little arrows, really hard to see, but once you click those, they expand. Not the easiest thing. Say you wanna get rid of this track. Grab that right there. Go up there, you see the little X, then you're gonna hear a poof. The poof means that it's deleted. If you ever wanna move a track, just move this, just move it around. You can shuffle these around. If you wanna get more space here or less space, you go up and down here. So those them. To zoom in there, plus sign. To zoom out, minus sign. To zoom into the canvas up here, command plus, command minus. Okay, those are big shortcuts there. You are on your way. You know how to get to these shortcuts. You know how to zoom in. You know how to zoom in the timeline. And you also know how to move these around. So that. Okay, so we've got the screen on top. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm actually gonna bring this down one so you can see this. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. So this is what typically looks like after a recording. You have your screen on top. You know it's a screen because the transform box is lit up. And there's the audio, okay? That's what you're gonna see most of the time. You have an audio track. You might even have a third track if you have a webcam going. And here's your media all over here in that media library or you hit command eight and you'll get to the media library so we have here now let's get to the these are the most important things in all the screen flow are you ready i am about to share with you the most important keyboard shortcuts in all the screen flow so get ready write it down don't forget these these are it okay i use these on every video so does everybody else who does use the screen flow Go here. Say you want to split this in two, okay? And just a little caveat, if you're not, you know, if you don't know a lot about video editing, you probably can figure it out that the audio follows the video usually. You know, if you're doing a, a presentation, you obviously, as the slides go, what you're saying below it usually corresponds to, you know, what's on the in the video, right? So you always wanna make sure that you're keeping these together. You don't wanna move this over here and this over here because they're not gonna line up. So you try to keep these together at all costs, okay? So 
Okay. Just say we want to split this right here. We want to do something here. We want to split it. And you're going to split clips all the time. Say we just don't want these two little pieces right here. So we clip it. Ready for shortcut number one. Hit the letter T. And that is how you split a clip. Oops. Hit command Z if you ever screw up. Just like anything else, you can command Z everything. Okay. Let's go command Z and go back. One more time. Okay. We want to clip here. What are we going to do? We're going to highlight both by just dragging over. You don't want to do just one. You could split just one, but you don't want to do that because you don't want to unsync the audio. Drag them both. Hit the letter T and now you have two parts just like that. Okay. If you remember anything from this video, remember the letter T. You'll use it all the time to split clips. You know, you want to use something here. Let's split it. Let's do something there. We just split it. Okay, hitting the letter T is key. Now, what about these gaps? So we've got the clip split. What about these gaps right here? What do we do about that? Well, to get these gaps, this is another big, big, big one. Okay, this is called ripple delete. So if I want to do this by highlighting this, what I did was hold the shift key and dragged. Okay, and if you want to get rid of those, clear the in and out points by doing option Z. And that will get rid of those. Ripple delete is your best friend in video editing. And what that does is when you ripple delete, what it's going to do is delete everything in this space. Not only that though, it's going to bring everything that's over here. So say we had a logo down here that you didn't see, you know, maybe this, this stuff was out of your, out of your view. You know, you're doing editing here. Well, I can't see the stuff to the right. Okay. When I delete this, I could hit delete right now and nothing happens, okay? But when I ripple delete, what it's gonna do is gonna delete everything in here and it's gonna bring everything to the right of it with it, proportionately. So I'm gonna hit command delete. You saw how it moved? Let's watch it again. Shift, drag. That's the blue is gonna tell you that it's ready to ripple delete. Command, delete. Watch everything to the right move. And if you, if I zoomed out, just to give you proof, everything down here is also going to move with it. Shift delete. Pretty cool. Okay. This is your best friend. Ripple delete. Ready? Say we want to tidy this up. We want to bring this stuff over rather than drag it. Hit the command delete. Everything moves over. You can do the same down here. So pretty cool stuff. This is what you're going to do all the time. You're going to use T. The split you're gonna drag it you say oh i want to get rid of that command delete it brings it back okay so those are your two best friends right there t to t to clip or to split and command delete ripple deletes and then finally the last little tip i'm going to give you say you want to add something here say you want to put this little piece of music just pretend this okay let's put this music say we want to put that music right in here how are you going to do that what we're going to do is going to hold the shift key and drag and magically it splits the clip right there. Go like this, shift drag, command delete, and we just ripple delete it. Let's watch that again. I want to split this clip right here. Hold the shift key, hit this little red bottom and boom. Look at that. It splits. You can see here, you see how that's not split, not split, right? I can hit T. And split it or I can take this and just drag it and if I want to delete that command delete a ripple delete there it is so in a nutshell in summary letter T splits a clip shift drag does a section command delete ripple deletes it and shift drag down here add space so you can insert anything you want into that space I'm Mike, and we'll see you in the next video. Hope you learned something.